Good morning, Ross Radish. Well, if you are trying to grow some vegetables yourself so that you can lower your grocery bills and eat healthy, it might be a good idea to think about some perennial herbs and roots that you can grow in your garden. In this example, we have Ross Radish. So let's take a look at it. It is a perennial at least add it to our zone 5a and if you are trying to plant it you will know you the website you wanted to purchase it from will tell you the zone that can plant it so it is one there and i purchased manfred from fedcoseeds.com jaren don't step on those boxes you'll have ants in your shoes and that's another one. So I don't know how many I got. Maybe 10 ball, uh, roots. I'm not sure. But I break them apart so that I can multiply it. And I planted probably at least three years ago. And you can see them here. That's two plant right here no two or two or three i think i have three here but let's get closer so that's a root and that's one way you can cross a spice off of your grocery list so you can see the roots there and pretty much what you'll do in fall is dig it out it's very hard you'll dig it out you'll peel it and you can just put it in the freezer so that when you need it, you grate it and you use it or things like that. Or you can grate it, add it to oil and put it in the fridge or freezer to use over winter. So, and what I like to do is when I dig it out, that'll be the right time to take some and replant. But I have not, I didn't dig it out last year. So you can see it, it multiply and I have this one here i have another one here and so forth you can see the center there that you can break it apart and pull some without putting the whole things out so if we move and i pretty much planted throughout the garden because i'm trying not to purchase spices anymore i like to see some herbs that are perennial that i can have in the garden and I came across this root, and I think that's a good one to plant. Now, Jaden, you need to use this to go. 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 Continue, 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 and then you'll find the door. Go, Jaden, that's the way you can go out. Angelique, open it for him to get out. So, as we continue, the thing is, the way I like to plant is I just try to plant a multiple area to see what part of the garden is good for the plants. So, and I use that same strategy with it. But one thing you need to take into consideration is, I don't know if you can notice it, but it's taking over the whole bed. It's growing quite a bit, like expanding. So, which turned out to be okay because this bed has garlic, has that uh, horseradish and that's garlic here and some wild flower but yes one of the year when I dig it out I break it put some back and they have been growing so horseradish is kind of spicy and I like to grate it add it to oil put in the freezer and when I'm baking or cooking steak when it's done i will just drizzle on it when i'm serving it and that's another one here as well if you plant it in an area that is accessible to uh, bunny and deer they might bother it the first year so you might have to pull a fence a small chicken wire around the plant for one year for the plant to have the chance to to establish and after that one you take that out it's strong enough that those things won't bother it but the first time that you're trying to uh, to 
roots, those, in, those bunny and deer like to take advantage of it. But you can see this one, if you look at the center, you will notice that it multiply at the ground level. And you can dig, depending on how you multiply, it might be easy to just dig one out and leave the rest, or dig everything out, break it, and replant some. So that's one spice, depending on your area, you might plant as a perennial herbs to replace some of the spices that you purchase. And over time, you might cross it out. So another one will be um, wild thyme. I have wild thyme and winter savory. So those with rose radish are uh, herbs that are used to replace spices in my cooking. In, and as I think um, sage. So we can see the the wild time here the winter savory and the sage is now in this area but that's how you can plant perennial herbs in your garden that way you won't have to purchase seeds every year to plant annual herbs you rely on the perennials you don't have to water them or fertilize them if you mulch your garden and it saves money and over time you will cross spices off of your grocery list and just cook from scratch with herbs in your garden thank you so much and you can find rose radish root at fed fedco seeds.com i'm afiavi ojune Lieberman creators of Liberman Consulting LLC YouTube channel, Liberman Consulting LLC podcast, ninasoap.com, the blog. And we do have our online stores, including ninasoap.com for custom apparel for natural products, liberdownload.com for digital products, liberlabel.com for custom apparel and labor outlets for resale products. Thank you so much, you all that subscribe to our channel, and thank you so much for your time. Yes, ways to save money, ways to make money to reach your financial independence is all about, is what our channel is about. Thank you.